Excuse me if I freak out during this, because it's Be Our Guest from Beauty and the Beast. I love that song. And Pentatonix is doing it, so why not? It's going to be a good combination. So, enough stalling. Let's do this. Pentatonix, Be Our Guest, Disneyland 60, the wonderful world of Disney. Let's do this shit. The world of Disney presents Disneyland 60. Performances by Fall Out Boy, Pentatonix, Sir Elton John, Star Wars Live in Concert, and Tori Kelly. And I feel like we all, like our hearts looked and we were like, amazing, it's so beautiful. So it's just really cool. It's such a magical place and so it's magical to be here. We're doing Be Our Guest from Beauty and the Beast. Is it me or does and, Kevin uh, look really what's cool uncomfortable about it is that here? We kind of took the original Looks kind of like doesn't know what to, to say. The, uh, to fit the occasion for the 60th anniversary, so it's really cool. Yeah. Oh man, so when we're arranging, we usually like sit in a circle and we just kind of like jam and improv and kind of figure out different moments. And um, you know, it was really tricky with the Disney song because it's just such an iconic melody. We didn't really want to change it that much, much, but we also wanted to put our spin on it. And um, hopefully, we found that balance. That's one of the most iconic Disney songs. Seriously, everyone knows is there anyone else noticing so Kevin looks sing it, or like he doesn't want to be there for the starts? We hear that. Da, 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 he just da, looks da, like he just doesn't want to be there. On a star, and I always get chills. Like that is my childhood, and so it's just such an honor to be here, being able to honor Disney. The Air Guest is a really good fit for us because it's inviting people in to just be a part of our music and then to join us in celebrating, and I think that really represents who we are as a band. And um, we put our own spin on it. I mean, you definitely hear the pentatonic sound. I yeah, mean, part of I it agree. is completely a cappella, and um, they got their own kind of version of it. Bit. I think it's fun. Disney's been around its their 60th anniversary, so it's like welcoming everyone in and celebrating their 60 years, which is really wonderful. There's yeah. so much history here. Yeah, I, I think we all really a feel lot. It. Yeah, and a lot. Related. When we were performing, just the energy of the crowd mm -hmm. and all the characters coming to life, and then the fireworks happened, I just had chills all over my body. It was such a moment. These guys just class it up as always. Anytime they do anything, it's always classy. 
especially when they're in Disneyland. Man, that's such a dream because, man, we grew up on Disney, man. It's like, imagine if you get to go to Disneyland and perform. That's got to be the ultimate goal right there for those guys. They, like, took one off the bucket list. But, yeah, it was pretty amazing. Like, yeah, they didn't sing the whole song. They got they took away some certain lyrics there. But they made it their own like they always do. It's still awesome to watch. And, yeah, I noticed Abby didn't talk much, but it looks like he actually wanted to be there. But I don't know what it is about Kevin. He got, like, that body language that he just didn't want to be there for some reason. Am I wrong on this? I just couldn't stop focusing on Kevin most of the time. Everybody else was looked like having a grand time. Of course, he was smiling and all, but Kevin's body language was just off a bit. But anyways, besides that, it was an amazing video, like them singing and all that stuff. So I'll be it for now. Take it easy, Humanoid Nation. Humanoid Freak Out. Bye. Divina Sin!